So today guys, we're back with another vendor reset. Here you guys go. Let's start off with the base of operation. So they have the burnout. That's the name for Moss that comes with perfectly, what is it? Perfectly on empty, has assault rifle, health damage, headshot damage. Remember, if you donate 20 of these, you could get it proficient or if you just use it. But yeah, it is um, for sale this week. I only have this at seven. So I'll probably come back and end up buying this sometime this week. So that way I can just knock this one out. We're gonna go through all the other ones just to see if we have anything else worth maybe grabbing i'm just gonna go through here and, and, and see what these rolls are this golden gear backpack that has armor explosive resistance armor region you could probably roll this backpack for something if you want to do some type of tank blue build a lot of um, optimization is going to require there but it could be a piece you guys can use they do have a max out chest piece um, uh, with armor regen if you guys want that role you guys can grab that one and throw it into your library not sure if you guys need that role for your library this also has intimidate with a group of soma without critical damage as weapon damage and you can put something else there maybe like crit damage if you guys have been looking for something like that and want to have armor regen i'm not sure really up to you um but yeah the armor regen role for sure you guys want to grab that one and throw it into your library if you don't have it um that's about it right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the clan vendor and we also have to check out the countdown vendor so the countdown vendor is right in front of us let's go check that one out first so right here at the countdown vendor they have the lightning rod so that's a uh, um, name pistol with perfect salvage has pistol damage headshot damage they have the zero f's chest piece with armor armor region skill damage and then obviously perfectly unbreakable and everlasting gaze I only have two of these, so I probably should work on these. Um, probably will buy this. Uh, and then it's perfect. Um, headshots grant 50% status effects and duration for the next status effect. So I think I can buy one, two, three. So yeah, you'll see, I'll just go here, go to my inventory, go here, go to expertise. Oh, it's a rifle, my bad. It should be, where is it? Did we miss it? No, we didn't miss it, did we? Here, Everlasting Gaze, and then we can just donate. You can see it goes up. It goes up half each one, right? Half a level each one. That's why you need 20 of them to get to make it proficient, right? We're gonna head over to the clan vendor and see what we have now. Um, I'll probably do some countdown later, knock that one out too. So we're at the clan vendor and the clan vendor has the chain killer chest piece. I use this one for my one shot headshot build, um, weapon damage, crit chance, weapon handling. You could switch out weapon handling for headshot damage has perfect headhunter. Obviously, if you want that one, um, if you need this crit chance roll, you guys can grab that and put it into your library. Again, if you want to donate 20 of these, you can buy them, use it however you want. They have a heartbreaker chest piece with armor and critical chance. You can put crit damage there or leave crit chance. They have an ongoing directive mask with weapon damage. You can change out the skill haste for whatever. An aces and eights chest piece with weapon damage and crit chance. You can put headshot damage there. We'll go down. They do have this SMG with maxed out SMG damage, maxed out critical hit chance. You can use both those rolls for your library. So buy two, extract the SMG damage, extract the crit chance. Um, it has sadist on there so if you want to try this you can put just damage targets out of cover on there if you want to try this um converted smg and see how it works you could because it already has sadist if you want to do some type of bleed build we'll go through here see if we have anything else um they do have a m16 so a rifle with max out critical hit damage if you need that roll you guys can grab that one put it into your library just going through these real quick just to see they have a 10.5% critical damage mod. You remember 12% is maxed on that mod. If you need that, they have a 10.6 instead right there. So yeah, if you need, if you don't have any critical damage mods and you're looking, you guys can grab that. We're gonna head over to the theater to see what they have here. So we go, we're at the vendor and the vendor right here has the lefty. Look at the lefty right here. Max out health damage. So if you need a health damage roll for your shotgun, you can grab that one and put it into your library. It also comes with perfect sledgehammer, so if you've been looking for that, you guys can grab that there. We're gonna go through here, see if we see anything else. A lot of max rolls, another rifle with max out headshot damage, so if you guys need that, you guys can grab that one right there. So not a bad week for max rolls for your library to like max those bad boys out. We're gonna head over to the campus to see what they have. Here we go, we're at the vendor. 
And the vendor has the Carnage LMG. That's the one that comes with Perfect Sadist. LMG damage, damage shocks out of cover, critical hit chance. If you guys have been looking for that one this week, you guys can grab it here. Let's see what else they have. Maybe something nice here for us. They have this new stabilized talent. It came out, I, I wanna say it was last update. You can see I don't have it. So I'm actually gonna buy this and extract that talent for my library. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, nothing else there. So yeah, if you ever see any of these weapons, let me show you real quick. We're gonna go over to here. We're gonna go to expertise. Oh, sorry, not expertise. We're gonna go to library. We're gonna go to the LMG. You can see the little symbol because I just picked it up. Go to talents and then go to stables. If you ever see a talent like this that doesn't have the little symbol underneath, that means it's not in your library. So I'm extracting this so I can get that one for my library. Boom, there we go. And now we have 24, 24. So there you go. Friendly so I do this, I, I do these videos for you guys because I'm doing it too on my PC account. We're gonna head over to the castle settlement, see what they have here. So we just arrived to the vendor right here at the castle settlement. What do you have for us? They have the punch junk mask. Oh, take a look at this. Weapon damage, has a 20% headshot damage, crit damage for weapon handling there. Mine's almost done, so we're close. But yeah, if you guys need that, you guys can grab that one. Remember, I only need three more to get it proficient, so I am close. We'll go through here, see if they have anything else worth maybe grabbing. They have an LMG with max out critical damage, so if you need that roll, like I said, a lot of max out attribute rolls that you guys can grab and throw into your library this week. Pretty good. Um, they have this Grupo Sombra mask that has max out weapon damage. If you need that weapon damage roll for your library, you can do that. Also has crit chance, and you can put critical damage there and then optimize the crit chance, and they have a god, and then it'll be god rolled, right? After you optimize it. But you can have an all red one if you need that. Go through here. Yeah, nothing else there. So not bad all at all so far this week. So we're gonna check out the DZ vendors and see what they have in the New York City. So we just arrived to DZ East right here and the vendor has the Black Friday, which if you guys don't know is a DZ exclusive. So if you guys wanna pick up one of these and then just use it, you guys can perfectly unhinge. It is this week. Um, so if you guys need that one, you guys can grab that. To go through here, see if there's anything else worth maybe grabbing. Typically, unless it's a DZ exclusive, like a gear, gear items or weapons, I typically don't buy it. So yeah, the Black Friday, if you guys don't have it, highly recommend grabbing one of those. Yeah, We're gonna head over to DZ house. South to see what they have. So we go DZ South, we're right here. Let's see what we have. And we have the Door Kicker's Knock, Weapon Damage, Critical Damage, sorry, Critical Chance, Headshot Damage, and Perfect Sparked. So if you need that one, you guys can grab that one this week. Go through here. Another max roll on this custom P416, but again, I probably would, unless you really, really, really need this roll and you haven't got it, um, I would just farm ARs on Countdown and you'll get that roll. But if you want to max out one and you haven't got it and you've been really looking for it, 101 DZ resources. Go through here, see what they have. They do have a Yao gear piece. Um, this is a DZ only item, has armor on it. Has explosive resistance, armor region, and blood sucker. So yeah, if you guys been looking for something like this, you guys can grab it. I actually might try to grab this piece. I need more credits, but I think I might try to really grit this piece. Only reason why is because I could probably run this on a build and then finally get this piece proficient. So I think I might actually try to go back um, and get that one there. All right. So we have one more DZ vendor that's going to be DZ West, and then we're going to go to New York City for our final two vendors. All right, so we just arrived at DZ West. Come on over and take. And what do you have? Firm handshake, weapon damage, status effect, critical chance. All right, so there we go. Go through here. Um, nothing. Yeah, so. This DZ vendor probably passed on it. Let's head over to New York City and see what they have there. So just arrived to New York City and right here we have Marco. Marco's gonna have anything good for us, let's see. He does have this double bow shotgun with damage to armor and headshot damage. If you need those max rolls for your library, you guys can grab that one, put it in. So max out damage to armor, max out headshot damage, buy two of them two max out rolls. I feel like this vendor reset was really good for max rolls, to be fair. They have a Cheska mask with weapon damage, critical damage. You could put crit chance if you've been looking for a red one. 
11% protection from elites you guys can grab. And that's pretty much it there, guys. Um, our last vendor is right over here. And if you guys haven't already, you made it this far, drop a like. Appreciate you guys enjoying these videos. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's finish this last piece right here. Let's see, boom. Um, anything. Sokolov gloves at weapon damage, headshot damage, but crit chance, critical damage. And that's it, guys. So that's going to wrap up this vendor. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, take it easy, everybody. Hey, nothing but skills out.